flat racing euro uk betting advice monday wolverhampton and flamingo park monday 4th of march 2019 tips by the flat racing guru uk that's myself okay wolverhampton uh looks a very competitive card I, and i could be wrong about all my selections it's so competitive so i've done it 2 a.m cover bets in the pro markets as we try to beat the layer tonight but they have every chance too i feel 545 uh, the tip is creative talent 92 quarter point each way a final ta attack and traveler combo focus and try as a competitive race um guru predicting rating on creative talent is 73 plus plus which means probably improve on last run um probably 77 i've got it um final attack it's probably on a um, good projected rating today a run to about 76 with a clean run and um the other one is traveler 72 or thereabouts um, um, final attack looks dangerous and if a clean run makes this trio one two three on numbers uh, 615 steel river seven to four one point win tipped at around five to one the last day and it won three to one easing up should go in again um i've got him a few pounds in hand if he runs his race uh, you know and that's the thing if he can run his race today monumental man last time the truck he went off a bit too i don't know if the horse was too keen you know i'm not gonna um blame the jockey uh for you know we don't know what was happening in the red but he should have won that race i mean he stood out on the numbers that last time and um he just seemed to go off too fast in front um you know the, he had nothing left at the finish uh, and he got overtaken and you know in the last bit um but a repeat of the previous runs would make a monumental man very dangerous tonight i felt and also the very interesting um cooper river he looks very dangerous too and he could step up previous runs and go close today he looks quite a nice horse for handicaps of this nature i do think our current crop of five years a pretty strong bunch uh very strong crop as two years and three years they were uh i i, I think you know form students put that in your notebooks the five-year-olds you know when they were two and three that was a quite a strong crop of um horses all together you know you know across the board they were quite a strong you know so taking a four-year-old against a five-year-old this year obviously the four-year-olds have caught up you know so it's very hard to judge when they get to four uh, you know the three-year-olds and the four-year-olds you can sort of like give i i mean last year i was giving a lot of four-year-olds a chance over the three-year-olds which is quite unusual the four-year-olds last year or the five-year-olds this year and a lot of the four-year-olds were beating the three-year-olds you know even when you know the weights were sort of getting uh, as the year did progress in around november you know october september october november the three-year-olds did catch up at that time but you know in july and stuff like that normally the three-year-olds would be winning but the four-year-olds were still winning so that's this crop of you know five-year-olds now and i think they were quite a strong crop and i was advising people to take the four-year-olds against the three-year-olds you know in them races you know the, the you know the competitive race and where actually the three-year-olds should be winning but a lot of the four-year-olds were beating them and i was predicting that to happen um 645 now moot a sad moot a sad day um a beautifully bred individual and he always looks a million dollars he absolute beautiful looking horse he has top weight in a very com competitive race and i'm sure uh he's a horse of his pot i'm not sure of what a horse of this potential is doing in this race because i'm convinced this horse for the past two years i've said he can go to the top and we haven't seen the best of him not anywhere near the best of what he can do this motor this year um he can't shake this division up you know later on in the year um he'll probably have run today uh and go you know i hope he wins you know but it is very competitive um and i'm sure 
Mr. Pommel put him away again till the summer. Um, so I'd be horrified if he can't. He always looks magnificent while he does. Ray's fans are in for a real treat tonight with the fantastic Oshin Murphy in this saddle. Um, I've wondered why he didn't go to Maidan. This owner has horses with Mike Decock, Sean Tarry in South Africa and the UAE and also Marco Body trains for him and his horses always excite me when they run. He really buys some magnificent pedigrees. Come on, Moot. Uh, the Dam Mahuba by Galileo won the Golden Slipper in South Africa and also the UAE Group 2 trained by the mighty Mike de Kock, who had a great win on Saturday, winning the South African Classic with Harwam, an absolutely exciting three-year-old. Um, and if the quarantines are put down, you know, in South Africa, we could be seeing Harwam around the world taking on the best. But, you know, um, I had did blog yesterday and he could be going to the Derby or... You know, on Champions Day in May, in the Derby is, I think it's the 30th of um, March. Um, so we'll see, but there's nothing being, you know, uh, said by the um, owner or the trainer, so it's up to them where they take our arm next. Uh, and Gavin Lorena, I spoke to Gavin Lorena, the jockey, and he did say he's the best three year old he's ever ridden. Um, there's a dog next door really barking I don't know you know that's the um, sh you know the farm next door I can hear it barking right let's get on with this so 715 Los Camachos cover bet three places uh, 745 so high Cardi um, if you go to my you'll be read all about it and um, I've tipped so high Cardi I've, I've got a little write up on that and 815 I'm not sure. I went for Sunday, there, but it could be metal exchange or designated look. And I have did some um, tips for Flamingo Park in the Northern Cape this morning. You know, up on the sand at Kimberley, um, 1020 Seraphic, the Wayne Dane Jubilee Exact, and this International Tricast. I mean, I think that will be a, quite a decent. Um, I think that Tricast got quite a decent chance of coming off. 1050 Crown Chakra, 1120 Moss of Melody, Trace A Bugle Player, 1150 Tina Brava, Spirit of the Law Exacta, Fleur de Cap Tricast, uh, 3569 Quartet, 1220 Sussex, The Win, 1 Point, You and Me, 14 to 1, Quarter Point each way, Alun Tricast, Barbara Quartet, 7325, 1250 Lake Washington, uh, it's got a decent chance, uh, you know, it's quite a big price. Um, bet them each way six places or five places on bet three six five and do the same with 120 Cape Rebel um, 25 to 1 six places on bet three six five and there's also some other horses there and if you go down further in my channels you can see all of my channels um, I've got you know this just YouTube channel was I'm just playing about with it at the minute it's not set up properly um, until a few more months and I'll do properly, um, you know, with the um, studio thing and um, coming on myself and giving an um, update on the day's racing. Then I've got my podcasts. If you want to look at past form and stuff like that, different podcasts. And I this um, does go on a lot of platforms. So, I, you know, basically we get about 250,000 or three. 150,000 um, viewers a week on the Flat Racing Guru 